Hello, my name is David Watson and I'm the Newcastle University's farm manager here at Cockle Park Farm just north of Morpeth. And today is Open Farm Sunday where we invite as many members of the public that we have to come and visit the farm and see our work, both as a working commercial farm and also some of the research work that we do here as well. So people have had the opportunity to come and see our cows being milked, they've also had the opportunity to milk a pretendy cow, they've had the opportunity to walk some cows and calves that we've got here and see all about the things that we do in terms of commercial dairy farming. They've also been able to see some sheep sheared down at the bottom, even though we don't keep sheep ourselves, we've got a chap who's come with some sheep and uh, he's shown the public how we, how we manage to get wool from sheep. We've got tractors here and all manner of farm machinery that people have been able to see and they've also been able to see some of the end products that we produce and that all the dairies have been here and they've been giving out milk and cheese to, to the general public some of which may well have been produced on this farm. We've had members of Frontier Agriculture giving Mars bars and showing how gr grains that we grow on the farm have been used um, to produce all manner of different things from cornflakes all the way through to beer. Do most of the people who come along today, are, are, they, are they country folk or are they city dwellers? Well, there's a bit of both really, we, we, but to be honest, it's, it's quite a lot of city dwellers because quite a lot of people come out of, 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 of Newcastle in particular because obviously we have the links with the university and quite a lot of them work for the university in, in all manner of different range of professions and, 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 and jobs. So they get to come out and see what, what goes on in the countryside. So you're quite right, they also get to see some environmental management, the things that we do with field margins and other bits and pieces like that and how we look after hedges so there's all sorts of different things that are linked to, to basically practical farming. And are people quite surprised to learn how uh, technical farming is these days? I think they are. One of the other th exhibits that we've got here is a, is a drone that we actually use to, to fly over with certain cameras on so it can measure the amount of disease incidence in crops and also uh, what we think crops are going to yield and that's really really quite high tech. I think you know there's often quite the image that you know farming is quite a simple straightforward sort of job. You put stuff in the ground it grows then you either harvest it or get an animal to eat it and then use whatever the animal produces to eat but there's an awful lot of technology that goes in and that's again great thing about being a university farm is we're able to show some of the research and the high-tech stuff and the gadgets and gizmos and techniques that we use to produce food these days. And who do you think enjoys it most? Is it the adults or is it the kids well, or is it the staff? I think, uh, uh, do you know what, it's all three really. I think, you know, it's always a, a bit of a, a, a bit of a nervous time for me before we open up uh, and I always think never again, never again until five o'clock and we're all sitting down and saying this time next year we'll do this, this time next year we'll do that. So the staff really, it's great to be able to interact with people who are essentially our customers, whether it's in terms of food or even the technology that they might buy off us. It's interesting, a lady who just went out, I said, have you had a nice time? And she said, yes. She said, I think the adults often learn more than the kids. And I'm sure that's the case. But either way, it doesn't matter. As long as everybody comes out and has a nice day and takes or maybe just one or two facts about how food's produced, then the day's been a great success.